Welcome to Joe B, a movie and a bottle of wine. Happy New Year, everybody. It's Joe B and Matt and the cat. We are chilling our asses off. Happy New Year's. We uh, watched the Blade Runner tonight. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was very cute. We enjoyed it. We had a yummy dinner. Um, I, uh, I cooked up some pasta. I know I shouldn't be eating pasta, but we ate it anyway. Happy New Year's. We had champagne. We had Andre. I'm a Spumante girl. It's sweet. I had to reach all the way back in the back of the rack because everybody else liked the Spumante too. I'm not a brute girl. I think brute champagne is for orange juice and mimosas. <laughs> um, we had some wine. Mm, I know I reviewed this one before. You can try to pronounce the name of the vineyard if you read the back of it, but I can't. BV stands for the vineyard. It's a Cabernet. It was good. A two-pack. $5.97 we marked it down to at Costco, so $3 a bottle. It was sweet. Sweet deal. We had our really cool champagne glasses this year. I don't want to juggle them. I'll probably do drop the damn thing. We had two bottles of champagne, a bottle of wine. <laughs> the other one was empty, so we had to open the this one. All right. Uh, I told you we watched Blade Runner. It had Ryan Gosling in it from La La Land. I, I really love that little Ryan Gosling. He's a really versatile actor. And I tell you what, you could tell him, Ryan, you're on fire, and he'd be like, oh, okay. All right. He's the calmest guy in the whole room. <laughs> um, I, I caught a preview for one the other day that I remember seeing a long time ago, and I enjoyed it very much. All cheerleaders must die. So the girls get in an accident, and they die, and they wake up in the morning, and they realize, you all died in some kind of an accident. So... Then they start turning into zombies and eating people. So it's these little cheerleaders running around in their little fongy thongs and their little bralettes and their floofy cheerleader hair eating people and, and being zombies and being cheerleaders. It's, it, it was good. You <laughs> liked that movie. I loved it very much. And there was another preview that I saw. If you guys get a chance, just, just look this shit up. Wolf, wolf Cop. I'm sorry, that light was blinding me a little bit. Wolf Cop. <laughs> it is so stupid. I, I can't even imagine that five minutes of this movie would be good. I, <laughs> wolf Cop. Lou, you're a wolf. Cop. Yeah, I'm the Wolf Cop. I did watch Mayhem, and that was where there was a virus, and the people in the building, um, they got quarantined together, and they lost all their inhibitions because of the virus that they had. The funny thing was, these people, with no inhibitions, they're fighting everywhere, they're killing each other, and they're screwing everywhere. It, they're, they're filming something, and the guy is talking, and there's these two people screwing against the water fountain behind him. It's hilarious, y'all. Um, it drags on a bit with what they go through and all the story's all right you know if you got some time to kill it is a good movie you know you can have a couple glasses of wine and watch it and have some popcorn some birthday cake popcorn <laughs> um let's see killing gunther uh that was good i enjoyed it it kind of drug on until arnold schwarzenegger came into play and then it got funny and it got good um he made it funny and good other than that it was a bunch of hitmen coming after Gunther, which was the top hitman, and um, they were going to kill him. And y you can take it from there. I, I don't want to destroy the film for you, but it, Arnold Schwarzenegger made the film. I got one thing for you about that movie. He goes through where he was uh, wearing these disguises to fool them. All right, one of the disguises was a pretty girl with a really nice body that one of the guys had a sexual encounter with out in the in the back of the building but when he took the mask off how did 
now think of Arnold Schwarzenegger's body right now. They just picture it. All right, now picture a pretty girl, and this guy's out in the have. It, it was that was one of the things that caught me. How could you mask Arnold Schwarzenegger's body to match that girl? All right, anyway, it was just funny. It was a funny part of the movie for me. You know, I don't watch for silly stuff, but that one caught me. No, let's be silly. Um, killing Gunther. I got my slippers on. My mom came through and got me another little pair of slippers, you guys. Aren't they cute? <laughs> my New Year slippers. You saw my Christmas slippers. I love my mother so much. Um, did I say Happy New Year? I gotta say Happy New Year again. Uh, oh my gosh, it's been so great having Matt here for Christmas Eve and New Year's. This is just too much. It's it's made it all good for me. Um, I, I showed you my slippers and I gotta tell you, my mom got a pair of slippers and they're sock monkeys. They have the little sock monkey on the side and they're made out of the sock monkey material. She had those on when she gave me these. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, it was very cold today. I had to turn my patio cat's uh, heater on real good all day long so she could be warm in her little box out there. Hey, if anybody's looking for a good kitty cat, I've got a kitty cat out here. She's about five, lay mustache. She has her little mustache. It's very cold. I give her kibble and I give her uh, her canned food and I have a heating pad in her box. But if anybody thinks that they could give her a good home, she likes to uh, climb on your shoulder and kiss you on your cheek and nibble on your nose. She's never been mean or hateful or scratchy. Uh, you know, they nibble, but she's a good kitty cat. God, please let us know. I'll, I'll drive her there. <laughs> Please, somebody take this cat. I'll even tell you what food she eats. Um, I hope you guys have a happy new year. And I'll see you on Wednesday. And we'll watch something else amazing and have a good time. Take care of yourself. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching Joby, a movie and a bottle of wine.